Hi guys, welcome to my channel on CD Made Easy. Today we'll be looking at orthographic projection. Draw the block in first angle projection with the front elevation looking in the direction of arrow key. Now from this isometric block, we can see the position of the, the arrow. The arrow is placed where we expected to take the front view. Now, we have the dimension of the block as follows, 15 plus 10 plus 15, that gives a total of 40. 25 plus 15, that gives a total of 40 also. And the height is given as 20. There are three main views to an object. We have the front view. We have the front view. We have the plan and the end view. The plan is also called the top view. Is the part that you position that you view from a particular height. When you view an object from a particular height, the top layer is called the plan or the top view. Then the side is also known as the end view. So there are three, two methods of drawing in orthographic we have the first angle and the third angle projection for the first angle arrangements we have the front view and the end view placed side by side then the plan is placed below the front view the only thing that is found beside the plan is an angle of 45 degrees so in this video we are looking at first angle projection. So since the question says we should take the front view from arrow K. Now, when you look towards the position of arrow K, you'll be able to pick out three rectangles. One, two, and three. That gives the front view. So now, the end view, which is known as the side. So if this is the front, there are two sides to this view. This is the first side and not just an ordinary rectangle because it's not a full cuboid. A part of the cuboid has been taken away, has been removed. So in order to show that, we make use of hidden details. We make use of hidden details, which is called the thin short dashes. So the thin short dashes will be positioned at the point of the cut. So when you are showing it on the orthographic view, you are to include the thin short dashes. So the last part is called the plan. The plan is the top layer. So when you view this from a height, you see this shape. So when you bring out the three views together, you have the front view, which is this one, two, three. You have the plan, which is the top view. And we also have the end view, which is this with their dimensions. So we have the front view 15 by 20, 10 by 20 and 15 by 20. Then the plan, the plan is Let's take the dimension of the plan, 15 plus 10 plus 15, that gives 40 by 40. So we have 40 by 40. The last one, which is the end view, is 40 by a height of 20. The next thing to do is to present it in the orthographic projection. So now, how do we do that? The first thing you need to draw is your vertical and horizontal lines. Vertical and horizontal lines. After drawing the lines, you bring out your ruler. And you measure one centimeter. Just place your ruler at any point on the vertical line this is the vertical line. Place your ruler at any point on the vertical line, just at any point, any convenient point, 
put a dot just make a dot remove the ruler place it on another point on the vertical line pick up another point just one centimeter inward mark it with a dot remove your ruler pick up your pencil using thin line using thin line connect the the dots together connect the dots with a thin line and take it down to the horizontal line connect it with a thin line and take it down all the way to horizontal line so i'm using this blue line as my thin line no so once you're done with that pick your ruler again repeat the same procedure on the horizontal line place your ruler on the horizontal line measure one centimeter inward and put a dot change the position take it away from there take it to another point on the horizontal line place it there measure one centimeter inward put a dot remove your ruler connect it together connect the two dots just like you did for the first one connect it together with a thin line and take it all the way to the vertical line so once you're able to do that it means you've been able to establish the position for your views so the first view we are going to position we are going to draw is the front view and it's dimensioned as 15 by 10 by 15 which is a total of 40 so we'll measure the horizontal line to get 40 we we'll bring out four centimeters four centimeters on the horizontal line so now we are making use of the thick line because it's used to outline visible edges so this is my four centimeter. This is four centimeter. Then we'll bring a height of 20. The height of the front view is 20. So I'll place it at the point where the vertical and the horizontal lines meet in order to bring out the height of 2cm. So bring out your pencil, draw your thick line up to 2cm. So this is my 2cm. I will erase the remaining extension. Then I will complete the rectangle. Complete the rectangle. after which I will need to cut out the vertical lines. So I'll draw my vertical lines at point 1.5, at 1.5, 1, and 1.5. I can do that by just making simple dots, small dots at 1.5, another 1.10, that is one, 
the remaining parts will give me 1.5. So take the horizontal line from that point, take it, sorry, the vertical line, take it up, take it up. So now I've been able to position my front view. The next thing to draw is the plan. So I'll take from the front view, I'll project my lines downward. So for the plan, I'm to project lines at four different points. One, two, three, and four. So I'll take it down all the way. This is one. This is point two. This is point three. And this is four. When I when I want to draw the plan, I don't need to measure one centimeter away from the vertical line because the projection lines has already given the distance. So all I need to do is just come to the horizontal line and measure one centimeter downward. So I'll mark it on the line one centimeter, then I'll take it to the last end. Also measure one centimeter. Then I'll connect my points together. Connect my points together with a thick line because I want to bring out the plan and this is the shape of the plan. So now I need to use my thick line to draw the parts. Then I don't need to measure the parts because I already have this as 40. So this is also 40. The remaining parts is the vertical side, which is 40. So I'll bring my ruler again, place it by the side and mark out four, four centimeters. I'll mark it on both sides. Now I'll need to connect them together. So I'll just join this point up, take the other part, take it up, Then measure this part, the part that goes inside. It was given as 25. When we go back to the drawing, you see that we have it. It goes inward by 1.5. So it's not just at any point. So you measure 1.5 inward in order to be able to get this part. So come back to the drawing. Place your ruler on the middle line, okay. So let's connect this part in order to get the middle one. Connect it to this position. Connect this one also. So from here, I can just measure 1.5 centimeter inward. This is my 1.5. I'll take it to this side. I also mark 1.5 in order to get the part that was cut off. So I'll connect the points together, the dots together. 
that gives me my complete plan. The last part is the end view. Don't forget that we said there is no other view besides the plan. The only view beside the plan is just an angle of 45 degrees. So in order to do that, to bring out your protractor, the 90 degree part, which is this middle point, place it on this T, where the vertical and the horizontal lines meet. Bring out your protractor, place it at the point where the vertical and the horizontal lines meet. Then count 45 degrees, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 45. You mark it with a dot. Take away your protractor, connect it together. Connect this dot to the meeting point, the point where the two lines meet. Connect it together. After that, we need to project lines from this three points. One, two, three. Now we are using thin line, thin line. So this is one, this is point two, this is point three. So you project to the 45 degree line. Then from the 45 degree line, you take it upward to where you want to draw the end view, two and three. This can be done with the use of your set square. I will also project two points from the front view. This is point one and point two. This is one and this is two. Now, once I get to this point, I'm good to go because I've already brought out the space where I need to position the last view. All you just need to do, place this last view, which is the end view, at a position where it will not touch the vertical or the horizontal line. Just position it at the point where it will not touch the main line. So I have this middle part to position my um my end view i don't even need to measure because all the lines have already been measured so i just need to draw i'll be using my thick line to bring out the last view so this is the first line Then this part, when you trace this cutout, when you trace it up, that's where we need to fix in the 10 short dashes. So we have come to the end of the orthographic projection. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.